Hello everyone, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome to the John Dennis Connected Career Series here in, and here in Madden 13. Yes, John, yes. Yes, John Dennis from Arkansas State. He has, he has, he has. He has decided to leave school, although in the Smithers Coaching Carousel Series, Coaching Carousel Series, he has it, but he declared early, and but would you know it, he's going to MetLife Stadium. Well, although he will not be one of the first players to actually step foot in it, and in this episode, we're going to see him practice. So we're gonna go with the grind here, cause well, and John Dennis was on an absolute tear in the GoDaddy.com bowl. I'm hoping that's the case when one of these guys goes to free agency. So ah, I wouldn't mind. Na 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 So here's John Dennis and unfortunately he has possibly the worst quarterback choice. Yes, it's Mark Sanchez. Yep, it's Mark Sanchez. Which I think it's is it Mark or is it Matt Sanchez? I'm pretty sure it's Mark. Yeah, from USC, Mark Sanchez. Yes, who had probably the the worst quarterback in the league. Yeah, and also tipped Ebo is with the Jets in this game. Why I do not know. And frankly, who cares? So yeah, Mark Sanchez out of USC, and boy, he is in serious trouble. And there you see John Dennis, and wow, good work. Hard to believe that used to be the man of Arkansas State, and just like Mark, and, which I didn't say of Mark's, just like Shannon, he has to get used to having the last names on the jerseys. Because like, don't forget, at Arkansas State, they don't have them. So at least that's what... That's what that says what Cartman has to go through if he's going to leave school early. And uh Wow, good catch. And it's it's a touchdown for the Jets. Wait, did we win? Oh yeah, we did win. Yay! <laughs> or huzzah. Yeah, depressing draft day. So on to Cincinnati to take on those Bengals, who we have yet to face. A character hasn't landed in. So as you take a look at the uniform sets here, we got the away jerseys, obviously. But you also got the home, the the blue tops, which we're not going to use quite yet. All white. The all green, the 1980s, which that looks awesome. The AFL away, the AFL home, the 2011 away jerseys, the 2011 home, the 1968 vintage away, 1968 vintage home. This year's blue top. We're are not going to use that one, but we're just going to go all white, I guess. Okay, so it's going to be the Jets and the Bengals, and I extremely doubt... I extremely doubt...
that John Dennis is gonna get some playing time soon. Because if Dante Jones doesn't get playing time, I will not. Many moment, many moment. We're here at Paul Brown Stadium for this preseason matchup between the Jets and the Bengals. Here's Andrew Hello, Dalton. Jim Nance, along with Bill Sim, just prior to kick off for this prime time extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about... I see about Marvin is Lewis, who is probably in the hot seat even this hard. season. So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement. Two offensive-minded teams, just moments to kick off a final ball. Well, the fans are going to get what they want. The NFL is going to get what they want, too. A lot of scoring... So, as I was saying about Cincinnati, as the Fanta... Wow! Dennis is going to get some actual playing time here. Hopefully, John does a good job here. And um, Excuse me. Thank you, Huber. Yeah, as I was saying, as, uh, well... And John got... Nine. So, we are not that far away from... Great American Ballpark, and we all know who used to play, who plays there, the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah, that may be Homer's next to home, but he's still in Pensacola, so. Well, that's great. He's not sitting out. They're sitting about. Oh, John's out there, so let's see how he does. Then we see John Dennis making a couple of good moves, and there, that's the John Dennis we know. 32, not bad. And yep, they're sending him out. So the Jets are doing pretty well. Now they're losing. And they lost. 16 to 10. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. So the Bengals get the victory, unfortunately. Brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recovery. There's Dante Jones. Well, just forget it. Oh wait, that's that's why you're in That's John Dennis, excuse me. The Jets are like, oh dang Navit. And the and they're as the some of the Jets players are flipping off the Bengals for beating them, which is bad sportsmanship, but what do you expect if you're playing in the New Jersey area? Yeah, I just realized John Dennis is the first character to play in the New Jersey area. Oh wait, there's Barney and Trenton. So, yeah. So at least Trenton fans are more classier than Jets fans. I'm just kidding. So that should just about do it here. I'm gonna get these up and uploaded. That way I can not nah, screw it. So as we advance the week to week number two. That way we can get ready for NCAA 12 because don't forget the rest of NCAA, tomorrow will be NCAA 12 day and then it will be the start of NCAA 13 and, and Friday will be the end. So that's it. Come back next time as we got the Battle of New York at MetLife Stadium where the Jets are the home team. So come back next time as John Dennis Gets ready to take on the New York Football Giants for the very first time. And I'll see you guys after my little after my little charge break. So I'll see you guys then.